Okay. Time for the new Payday 2 map that was released for Spring Break. For day one of it, at least. I know I'm a bit late to the party getting round to it, but it's some. At least I'm getting round to it, is what I should say. Keep in mind that there might be cleaning personnel and other non kettles moving about. Non kettles moving about. But, you know, it's been released. The Payday 2 Spring Break 2018 kicked off. And day one dropped as this, dropped as a new, new stealth only heist, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, it brings you back to the FBI office that you broke into with uh, the Hawks and Breakout day two. Have you found the gate yet, friends? And I'm, I'm enjoying it. Enjoying it pretty much. I mean, don't get me wrong, the rest of the, the Spring Break stuff's ah, not been the greatest. Been a bit lackluster compared, uh, compared to previous years. Approach. But they are trying, they are trying, you know, they've uh, so far sort of been bringing back more community based stuff with the Spring Break one, such as taking some of the community members' uh, achievements, personal achievement ideas for the game and making them into sort of side quests, I'd not say quests, but side jobs. There we go, I don't know why it wouldn't give me the angle for that. Now go back and open I'm up kind of in a rock and a hard place here. No, there we go. Which I thought was a really nice thing all of them. They've also included some new things for achievement milestones. They added in a new 1000 achievement milestone. Which this time it gives you new a new armor piece, a new mask, and a skin for all guns, all weapons. Uh, it seems a bit lackluster, but compared to the previous achievement milestone things, it's, it's a big difference. Have a little fun with the guy. So okay, Garrett's office is on this right hand side, and they fixed a few bugs here and there, which is nice as well. So it's nice to get a couple of good bug fixes. There we go. I was expecting them to turn around. I was just waiting for that to happen instead. While looking into it a little bit further and finding out what else they've been doing, they've got this whole kind of secret thing, which to me makes it think, makes me think that they're going to be either bringing the secret out, they've officially released it, or they're putting it in the game, or they're going to drop some mad hints to it, because that's, you know, they're like, alright, it was actually been in the game since the start, and here's where we're actually, you know, going to give you some of the, the, the mad deeps, and the mad ints, you know, the deets to actually solve it, because no one's gotten close so far, etc. Or, they could just be adding it in as they go, and just sort of trying to bullshit their way through it, which I think is the mass majority of vote. But they're sort of hinting, which you'll see at the end of this, they're trying to tie in a few of the heists and some of the, the loose ends and odds, the oddities of the payday to sort of uh, quote-unquote that lore. Uh, okay, he just... Oh my god, what is this timing? There we go. Still cool. Now you just have to find a way into his office. Well, oh, capping that joint, you would feel good right now. Putting those there is going to be a bit handy. So and the helper. Off the triggers, yeah? And one there. There's his office. See if you can cut the so, oh, we've got to cut the power. Cutting the power one is quite nice. Breaker. It actually keeps them away for a bit longer than most. So, enough about the sort of Spring Break 2018. We'll see what happens as they release more this Friday. Fuck you. Come on, friends. Save those bullets for the girls. Which is, they've only, as I said, released one major thing, and then the rest has sort of been small, small updates here and there. Fuck yeah, too risky. Need to wait for this guard move. I was gonna see if I could place like a trip mine or trip wire tector beam over here before he moved. It wasn't really possible. You should be able to get past the code lock by disabling a few security right in the doorway. Need to find the security boxes though. Yeah, that one's a bit risky to go for for the moment because of this guard. Oh, that's why. For it. 
There we go. Another one here. Get to those security boxes. Just ah, one more, another yeah? one is over here to the right. No, we didn't get the spawn. Ah, it's right out in the open, of course it is. God, that guard's just going to not stop moving all the way down here. I think he's going to stand a bit there. Or is he going to do a brother to Saul and just go straight in the room? He is. God, guy behind him hopefully does the same. Now the guy, he's not changing his path at all. He's going to stand there. God, like a total dick. But, as I said, so this new heist, you're back to the FBI office. Your whole opus moderanda. It's the oh, is it opus moderanda or opus moderanda? The whole reason <laughs> that, that you're here is to get something out of Garrett's office. And Perfect. in order to get him out of his office, because he's normally in here, uh, is by doing a series of like four things to sort of hint at him getting out out of the way. Right, there's the safe. Like the Fed's got a better budget this year. That's a new model K. New model no K. Now we're going to sit out of the way because Garrett will start to make his way back. So you lure him out with either sending them an email, giving him a fake telephone call to the office, or by... What was the other one? Shutting his lights off like we did there. And that's how you, so you get rid of him. And in those sort of downtimes, you go in the office, sneak around, see what you can find, using clues, uh, try to break into his safe, and and get, you know, what you need out of the safe. Find me a telephone around there, and I'll try to get Mr. Garrett to take a little walk or something. There's a few additional things that you can get uh, in this Look level from the guard. evidence room, which I think will make our last stop. Guard. We'll get the main thing out first, just so we have an exit to sprint to in case shit goes wrong. Because I'm not that good at this game. And I like having... I like having my escape primed and ready. Okay, Stay I'm dialing can spawn there. Stay low Fuck. and wait. I need to take a picture of that at some point. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, right now is not a good time. I've never heard these audio cues because when I was doing my investigations okay. earlier, he yeah. Uh, Look out, guard. Right now, let's see if he took the bait. He only had. Like, I had music playing, so I didn't get to hear them. But yeah, so we used the phone. The phone's probably one of the best ones, because it actually gets him out of the office for the longest time. Because he goes the furthest away. Now, this is where we kind of need help from. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. So, the key to figuring out what the code is, because all the codes are, like, on the wall there, all the different numbers, depends on what Lock says. Now, if Lock says uh, it's somewhere really obvious, there's a notepad that says 1234 on it, which is the password. Uh, if he says it's something maybe to do with his wife, then there's a post-it note that says, remember, 1212, which, like, 12th of December would be that, because all the other codes don't actually match up to a physical date that it could be. And it gives you small clues like that to narrow it down. Normally if he says it's on a post-it note and it's something to do with his wife, that's, you know, that's how you'd narrow it down. That's how people manage to figure out what each of the different hints meant and how they're related to codes. Now here's the thing. Is Garrett still out here? Yes he was. Go on now, though, so I can make a sprint for the exit. Fuck, we're doing the elevator trick? That's not good for business. Mostly for the fact if you do the elevator trick. Also, that was, uh, that was really lucky that we got that there, by the way. Just because for the sure fact that they're on death sentence and one down, uh, most of them in death sentence Come or above, on, Get out of there. you have a risk where you open up the safe and it'll just be a key card in it. 
in which case you have to go to evidence and there's a door in the back of evidence Look out, that door. only opens with a key card which we'll show in a bit here and that's that's the big one that you need watch the drill friends it will draw unwanted attention stop others from getting close to the drill so the that one there you need the key alarm. card for Nothing it which sometimes only spawns like in the push. safe yeah. Of course, they're all going to break instantly. What I'm trying to do right now is just tag up this little area because this area is risky Come on, Get out of there. to have anything on. So I was just trying to tag up a little so I can actually see what's going on. Let's restart the drills. I don't remember if I have the, like, if you hit it, it possibly restarts one on. I don't think so. I don't remember if I have that on or not. They're, they don't take that long, but they take longer than Nothing I'd like. Do, but make like a bush, yeah? Make like a bit. I don't get that reference. Come on, son. I think I just took a money bag from next door. I think I took a money, yeah, money pig off of that side, but... Off the shelf, not the side bit. Words needed, just in case we do have it, I don't think. Nah. Damn, these ones take a bit longer than me. Kinda messed up on them. Oh my god, that's a lot of coke to move. No need to stay there any longer. Yeah, this one's gonna break every three seconds, it seems. But yeah, and if you mess up and you can't figure out the code by like the fourth time they give you a bit of a funny one that's related to an achievement where you need to use food to lure him out of his office and when you do that it causes him to run to the bathroom and that's that's one of the the misc achievements that came in to this uh, this run and probably one of the more annoying ones to try and figure out because I thought like I need to maybe keep restarting because I didn't realise at the beginning that like you got multiple chances because I thought it was like if he went in and he saw his safe it would just be like that would be it like he sees his safe open that's all your chances gone but it turns out no even if you open up the safe like as long as you don't open the safe and even if the safe is open and he's in his office he just doesn't care apparently Which is really handy. Watch out, guard. Come on, friends, get out of there. There we go. Move up here, we're gonna have two guards in this room at the time. Nope, we're going to have one guy sitting right outside our, our area. Looks like he lines up with about the doorway. We can try and place one of our remaining Why are you still there? remaining areas, uh, one of our remaining tethers right over that. Kind of about here. And use that to permanently detect anyone that might be standing outside the door. I almost didn't see this guy actually. I don't want to go in the elevator because the elevator's actually got one of the the harder endings compared to go, what you know going to the skylight, aka your spawn on, room, and there. zip lining everything out. That's, in my opinion, the easiest exit. The elevator one is still technically easier because it's closer and there's like hardly any of guards about, but it kind of screws you if you're wanting to do all the loot. Because the alarm goes off and you get about a minute, maybe more, to try and move all the loot into the back of the van. So as long as you start 
like chuck all your loot down to the back where Twitch is going to be, and you use go, the and use the uh, the case first, the box that you go out of get it safe, your key item that you're here for, the green bag first in the back of the van. You'll be able to get a large chunk of your loot out, but maybe not all of it. Which is a little frustrating, but like I feel we should definitely have plenty of time because it's like a whole minute. I just don't know like when exactly the countdown starts for this wall explosion that we're about to see. So I don't know when that is. Come on, friends, get out of there. Probably speed this up as well, like a good chunk of it. Like a bush, for sure. Look out, guard. That is a bright ass light, god damn. he starts to move it should be a good one. No need to stay there any longer. Who knew their torches defied physics? Let's just try and move everything down to the end of the hallway quick. Tom's like these. I wonder how Boris and Grace and Jimmy actually get out. The more I think about it, how did they get out? Because they're stuck in an office on the third floor of the FBI building. <laughs> Do they just take the escape route that we're hoping to take out? Because these guys are all going to be on like high alert. Hold your ears, friends. All right, I'm at the spot. Double time it. Gathering with a bit of flare for it. Now, yep, there we go. go. Now we get the box over there first, and then we get the rest of the loot. Uh, it's Jimmy and the boys going to town. It seems they they do something. How the f like, are they fighting the boys upstairs? Also, like, sure curiosity, like, how does this van not get stopped on the way out? There we go. In, out, no alarm. Breaking the feds, done, all loot. Death sentence, one down. So, decent bit of money out of it. Not the greatest amount of XP. Hey, back to the safe house, Duke should get cracking on examining the elephant's box. All right. We've got and what do we get for our, our card? We get... Oh. Oh, we get a, a weapon mod. Shell rack for a weapon we don't use. Mm, perfecto. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.